Hi guys, welcome to this full review of these 15 pieces of 20 milliliter card case like plastic perfume spray bottles which are refillable. Yeah, the listing on Amazon says it's a fine mist spray bottle, portable moisturizing spray box, empty travel bottle for makeup, cosmetic, essential oil and so on and so on. And it's listed for only $12.99 for 15 of these spray bottles. So it's very, very uh, cheap. It comes even with Prime and it has actually pretty good reviews. So is it really good or not? I've been using this thing or some of them for some time and uh, yeah it, it's a very mixed result i mean there are a lot of good things but also a lot of bad things about these uh, travel spray bottles and i'm going to show you everything so we get a couple of these white ones you got uh, some of these transparent ones and a lot of these black ones and they have also their corresponding hats here here the black to black uh, yeah, they are actually pretty convenient regarding the shape, I have to admit. I mean, we are talking here about 20 milliliters and usually we are talking more like 3 milliliters or 5 milliliters. And we are talking about travel spray bottles, something like this. This is only 5 milliliters. This is 20 milliliters. Okay, it, it is a little bit large, but it's much more convenient to carry with you especially you have a couple of them or if you want to put that in your pocket have it always with you for perfume or some like oil or uh, whatever you want to use i have been using this with some coconut oil since couple of weeks and coconut oil is very prone to leaks but it hasn't been leaking at all uh, you can see there's uh, quite some uh, oil inside and i had it even for a couple of days like upside down fully upside down for about 72 hours or so continuously and i expected some leak but it didn't happen so it looks like it can do a pretty good job and unfortunately i don't have any uh, pressure test uh, facility so i cannot simulate conditions uh, which you have when you are traveling over mountains or in an airplane or so but uh, i've been comparing these two things and i would say i mean this are usually pretty good as long as you have not too thin oils like it works perfectly for uh, olive oil or so but if you have something thinner like coconut oil or so it's very prone to leak and here it has never been leaking and usually it this has been good for uh, travel with airplanes and even over mountains so i would say this is pretty good regarding leaks uh, but definitely it hasn't been tested uh, for pressure change but for me in the last couple of weeks did a really good job even when using it and spraying uh, it hasn't been leaking too much maybe a little bit around this thing here which you can clean re really easy so so far so good but there are many many bad things to tell you about that unfortunately and i'm going to show you how to really use how to feel how to clean i'm i'm trying to show you everything here here i have uh, one of these transparent ones and uh, that's and it starts already with one problem here it's difficult especially if you need wearing glasses sometimes when you have this thing inside and then it's very difficult to find out uh, on which side the spray nozzle is it happened to me once that i had it like this and i wanted to spray into my mouse and i sprayed actually towards my finger so i mean if you have good eyes or so very sharp eyes shouldn't be a problem but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to see so what helped i mean i have put this uh, writing or description here i mean with the oil it doesn't last too long it has nothing to do with the spray bottle it's just uh, with this cheap uh, printing thing but this definitely helps to use it on the right side so then how to apply these things uh, now it starts 
I mean, in the description, it says it has some valve which you can use on a perfume bottle. So if you haven't seen that, that usually means we have to lift the cap of the sprayer and then we have this nozzle here and we take this thing here uh, upside down or if it has a valve here so sometimes we really have a valve here and we can just push it down a couple of times and then it starts filling up and I have seen this a couple of times and it has been uh, working good but here I really don't see that I mean it is in the, in the description and I have been complaining about that but I cha didn't change the description what we have here we can remove this thing here and then I thought okay maybe we can use that I mean of course with the bottle here down inserted and then use it like this a couple of times yeah it didn't work I mean you would definitely need something here a valve down here but there's no valve so the only way to fill this thing is to use a funnel but as far as I've been able to see or remember I think there is no funnel I have some small funnels but, but they came with some other sets uh, luckily I kept them so this is always good to have some small funnels probably you have them too and then you can use this thing to fill so it, it works with this small one here uh, and even with this large one that's the good thing so you can use that and open the bottle of perfume or oil and then uh, fill it up so that works but there's definitely not a filling valve or so that that's not the case but usually you also want to clean such a bottle before you're using it especially when you want to use it like with some oil and then spray it in your mouth you want to have it clean and then cleaning this thing with this super small uh, narrow mouse here it's absolutely difficult i mean i tried this with some dishwasher soap and hot water but i needed about 10 minutes or so at least to uh, bring everything inside like the foam and then bring remove everything also the foam because there's one big problem the opening here is not on the top the opening here is somewhere in between so when you're filling this up here I'm going to show you that so I have this here and then we add some water at this time so let's remove this thing so now I flip it uh, upside down and you can see it's not even leaking like this not even without the lid or like a plug or something like that you can see that there's water inside and it's not leaking not 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 a bit I mean if I shake really hard it will uh, come out and then so there's a chance to remove this thing but apart from that it's not working you really have to uh, shake 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 this out that's a big problem then the next problem is when you shake this out and you are here at the well if you can see that here we are around the, uh, the height where the uh, opening is uh, even when you uh, shake a lot it's difficult to get something out because there's some water here on the side that's really really difficult and hard to get it out uh, for cleaning then there's the next big problem when we are around here you think okay yeah I want to fill it a little bit more I mean there's a, still a lot of empty space you can see you can't do that because yeah it's full I mean it's not really full but the problem is you cannot fill these parts here probably these are part of the 20 milliliters so there's no way you can fill this up maybe you can fill this to uh, 17 milliliters or so but definitely not the full amount it's not possible if you overfill I mean if you have it just like this and you think okay yeah it's it's flat here and you add the spray nozzle I can tell you it will leak because it also has some volume here you can see it fills up and then it overfills it overshoots and there's everything full of perfume and oil or whatever you use so I removed a little bit and I think that's probably good to use and then we put this thing back this is how you would use it so you've heard this thing here like this snap 
clicking that's really important when you close this thing you have to push really hard when you don't push hard enough down it won't be properly closed and then it will leak as far as i've been able to see you can use it on both sides so you can have the sprayer nozzle to this side or also to this side it doesn't matter so we just put this down here and then we push hard like this one yeah you can see that was not hard enough when i released it it comes up again so we really have to push pretty hard here and now when it comes up it's almost flat so in this uh, position it should be good to go here we have the spray nozzle on this side and we can use it now like this unfortunately again don't use it like this with the finger it will spray directly uh, towards your finger because the spray nozzle is extremely on the top you have to be really careful to spray something like this so uh, use it like this uh, but then it works it has a really nice fine mist i'm not complaining about that it's absolutely nice uh, i mean there are spray nozzles which produce more output if you need something really uh, just fine, just a little bit, yeah, maybe this could work really good. I would say, yeah, for perfume, why not? It's a good thing. But let's say uh, you're down here, you have emptied it and you need to refill it. And that's the situation where the next problem shows up uh, when we want to pull this here out it's almost impossible and there's almost nothing to grab i mean you could use some kind of screwdriver or so but i actually fear that i would destroy it i mean as a last resort option you could grab here with some screwdriver but there's also a chance that you destroy the thing but it's possible i mean when you perfectly clean and dry everything dried here have more or less dry fingers and you uh, grab it like something like this uh, push squeeze it hard and then pull hard then usually it's possible to remove it but then there's the next problem and you can see that happened exactly now i have just removed the head and not removed the whole uh, spray mechanics and now what we have to do we have to push it back and we have to try again and after some tries probably will be successful and yeah, now again a uh, fold attempt so that's my third attempt now Yeah, it looks like at the moment I'm not uh, going to be successful anymore. But I have done this a couple of times. You just uh, push it down again, dry everything, make sure you have a nice grip and then try again. And if you're lucky, you will be able to remove the thing. Yeah, at the moment it looks like it's just not working. But this is definitely a big, big problem. At some point, you should be able to remove it again. Uh, but it's really hard. I don't know why they made this. So finally, I've found a solution how uh, to remove the thing. I mean, you can cover this thing a little bit so you're not destroying it with uh, pliers. And uh, then you can just pull. And then the inside, unfortunately, you cannot grab it like this because it's part of the housing. So you really have to grab this part here and then pull it out i mean that works i think you could do that a couple of times uh, without destroying it i think it is still in pretty good condition but um, yeah it's it's a hassle and uh, if you want to use that and maybe rather use this as a one-way thing just fill it up use it till the very end and then use next one based on my experience there's about a 50 percent chance that you just remove the tip or you remove the whole thing but now you can see i'm very unlucky here 
usually that has been working a couple of times. I have tested this. I can tell you that I have removed and cleaned a couple of these things. I have been also refilling this thing here has been working now. I'm absolutely unsuccessful with this one here. Maybe depends also a little bit on the item here. Maybe if I would use the next one, I would be more successful. But you can see there are plenty of problems here. It's, it's, it's really uh, full of problems. And I mean, it's very cheap. You can get 15 of these things for only 12 or 13 dollars. As long as you are able to refill or clean and then refill and, and and these things i think it's a good thing it's it's a nice design it's more or less leak proof i'm not complaining but there are really a couple of things which are definitely not good and i hope that they will improve this on the long run so maybe in a couple of years we will be able to buy something like that which really works but for me at the moment yeah actually i cannot really recommend this thing here unless you are willing to try around for hours if you are unlucky so maybe that's uh, the better choice here i mean i have been using this for years it cost uh, nine dollars for a three set and it's definitely way easier to use everything way e easier to clean to refill I, i'm not going to open that but uh, compared to the size it has a wider mouse maybe for some of the things you will still have to use a funnel but uh, if you have a small oil bottle or like perfume bottle probably you can even use that without mostly i'm using this or e refilling this without uh, any funnel and most of the time it's leak proof it has been leaking a little bit with coconut oil but as long as i'm using the uh, olive oil it seems to be good so yeah for me actually this is the way to go at the moment i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time